smash.
holy shit, that's a long pupurri. So I got a request to do this on Vihuela just a, a, about a week ago. I had a little bit of a, a finger injury, you know, doing jujitsu. I was uh, able to do nogi today, and I think I might be doing nogi jujitsu for a while now just because we're starting to get back into like gig season after February, you know. So yeah, I did that today. Um, so trying on Vihuela. It's not my main instrument, as you guys can probably tell, and I don't want to be throwing any disrespect out there to guys that play vihuela way better than I do. I mean, I'm a guitar guy. I play guitar de golpe. That's what I do. But most of, a lot of what I've learned in mariachi music was taught to me by a vihuela player. And uh, so this is kind of like a, this is, the, this is like my, my mistress. As I tell everybody, you know, I really love this instrument. I love playing it. Um, I don't get nearly enough practice on it because I'm always doing guitar stuff. But um, mostly I'm playing guitar roll these days. So, the vihuela, right? As you can see, there's a couple of tricky parts in that popurri. Like, holy shit. Um, a lot of weird manicos. Right in the beginning, you have... Uh, and so, by the way, this is the more or less tutorial portion. So, if you don't want my tutorial, then you don't like to hear my annoying voice, then thank you for watching. And if you wouldn't mind uh, considering liking, subscribing, following us on Facebook, uh, Play Mariachi. Um, if you just type in Play Mariachi, you'll find it. Um, more podcasts coming, I swear. I swear this week, hand of God, this week podcasts are going to happen. Um, and a new thing for the channel, right before I get to the tutorial, is if you follow the links below, if you are looking for strings, guitarron strings, classical guitar strings, Uela strings, I have links to a new store that we uh, kind of affiliated with Amazon with, and it's an easy affiliation program. If you want to support the channel, if you like what I do and, and stuff that I do, please consider going to those links. You don't even have to buy anything. Just click on the link, right? Click on one of the links. If you see some guitarron strings you like, like, ooh, let's go click that. If you buy it, perfect. That'll be good for me, for the channel. We get a little piece of that sale action. If you buy stuff on Amazon anyways, so if you're going to buy your dog food for next month and you want to support the channel, if you click on the link on your phone, if you're watching this on your phone, it'll take you directly to your Amazon app. All you got to do is sign in. It will know that you clicked on one of my links. If you buy your dog food through one of the links, it still counts as a sale. So whatever you can or want or whatever, if you want to support the channel, you like what I do, you want me to keep doing it um, on guitar because I don't play vihuela too often on this channel because, again, there's dudes that do it way better than me. I do play vihuela, so we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, thanks for supporting and liking. So here's some tutorial stuff. All right. So for the beginning of... Uh, what is it? Uh, la, 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 la. Okay. The intro to that, right, Bato, if you listen on the recording, he's doing a, like, um... Sometimes in the music, if you have it a written arrangement, it'll come out like, uh, it'll be written. Right, so they're all downs. He's doing an ups, ups. Thumb, strum, every time. I can't speak. I did a lot of work today. But what I'm hearing him do the up strum, the way he does. Right? That's one difference. That's a, that's a tricky part for some folks. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, right? So it goes to the next part. It goes to G major. Uh, it goes to G minor. He's really dramatic on those accents, right? Right. That uh, that transition piece to B to C minor, right? That's that's literally it. Or you could go. This is A minor, um, what is it? A minor 7 flat 5 or something weird like that. It's one of those like. So basically what you're doing is you're doing a C minor 7. Right? C minor 7. And you're going to take away the thumb, and you're going to play an A. There's your A minor 7, flat 5, or sharp, whatever the fuck. To D7. Right? 
I play E flat like this, and I mute my D. Haha, <laughs> mute the D. Seven. There's like a there's a weird weird timing there. Do you see that? It doesn't follow the same pattern there. It does the rosquillo. People miss that. The next part, uh, right? So it goes, uh, and they speed up right here, they start to rush. D major, D7, G. And then you kind of gotta want to play this without rushing it, but you guys still play it fast. Uh, six or an eight count, but it really just kind of feels like whenever Pato feels like letting it up with the singer. He does stop, right? My fingers are still a little fucked up. I never did get that chord down. The Super Bowl came on, my 49er team won, woo! And uh, I got distracted, what can I say? But my fingers are healed up just enough to be able to play it like this, shittily. So the thing is, is that he does a lot of accents, like he over accents the accents on the, on the strums, they go, whoa, what's wrong? What am I doing wrong? On that G7, like he really takes command of that shit. Uh, the next thing, you got, uh, bum, 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 bum. Now this is the hardest transition to do in the whole song, all right? I have messed this what I have messed this up badly. It's an A flat to an E flat 7. Right? And and as you guys can see, I barely got through it by the skin of my own ass. So All right. I used to play and I still do kind of play e, A flat like this. So I get my finger here, I make a bar right below the second knuckle, and I pull my thumb over, and then my pinky. When I was really good, I'm not really good anymore, I used to do it that way. I suck at it right now. That's another way you can do it though, for old school Vihuela players that have big ass hands like me. Um, that's kind of how I was taught it, because... My when a teacher had a big old bear claw like me, he's like, mm, yeah, you, you can do it like like this. Like. All right, I haven't practiced it in a long time, so sorry about that. So I did the, the easier version, which is you make a bar chord like an F minor 7 and you add a pinky, right? All right, it still kind of sounds awful. I have a fucked up finger, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the hardest part of that whole thing. The next thing is, is that it comes in a... Uh, I do that, but it really just is. Right? 
Alpha does like a pickup strum, and, and I kind of messed it up in the video. I used to play that extra manico just because he stops there and it always used to mess us up and we would get off time. When I... Right? We could never play the shit in time, so I would just say, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna play an extra manico. That's not how you play it. But so the way you play it... That was before I really realized that when you're a Vuela player, you gotta listen to your trumpet section. Whatever timing the trumpet section has at the end of the cadence, you have to jump into that time, especially if you have a break. So, trumpet players, respect, all right? I'm showing respect, right? Again, trumpet, right? You can't just count this shit out. You gotta listen to the trumpet. If you don't count with your trumpet and you don't come in when they come in on that first beat, you're gonna screw the song up and it's gonna be all over the place, alright? So that's pretty much it, guys. Sorry for the shitty playing. I almost don't even want to release this because it is subpar, mediocre, I suck ass playing this right now, but it's probably the best I can do for now uh, on the v just because my hands are kind of messed up, I haven't had much practice, but the chords are kind of basically there, all right? This video is probably going to get downvoted like crazy, it's too long, and I'm talking too much, but wanted a kind of a tutorial on Vihuela uh, for Ruben Fuentes, uh, the first popurri, and there's two more, uh, Ruben Fuentes, Huapango, popurri, so I might do those on guitar next, so... Thank you for the comment, thank you for the suggestion, sorry for the shitty playing, uh, you know, um, eh, sorry about that, and uh, if, if you guys are even watching this right now, if I decided to put it out, then thank you for the support, thank you for supporting the channel, thank you for bearing with me for my shitty Vihuela playing, I'm sorry for offending everyone and my crimes against humanity, I, re I really am. Um, but yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next one, later.